Okay. What I want you to think about is your mission and your vision statement. I want you to think about that right now. What does it say? What is it saying? Does it really reflect what you do, or is it something that you you looked at what someone else is doing and thought, oh, I'll provide something similar like that? So, what is your mission and vision statement truly about? What is it saying? Does it really reflect who you want to work with? What are your core values as a company? What about your staff members? Are your staff in alignment with your company's goals and your visions? Do they really understand what you want to offer, or is it about what they want from you? Because it has to work both ways. Okay. What about your clients? Are the clients that you're working with is it in alignment with what you've set out to do? So, what makes you different from any other agency? What really, truly makes you different? Why should someone come to you? Instead of going to the other agency down the road, so different. Okay, so does your branding match your corporate identity? Your branding kind of changing on different platforms. It's not the same. Who is your ideal client? Does your website have a call to action on there? You know, when someone visits your website, sometimes when you visit a website, majority of the time, there'll be like a pop up, won't they? Where you go somewhere on that website, and it's like you want something, and it's like, hey, fill out your details. What call to action do you have on your website? And it's critical that you're talking to the person that needs your service and the family, but also you're looking at the client. So if it's a care home, what is it that they're looking to get from you, for example? So I hope you're writing this down. <laughs> 